today on an all new Dr. Phil. Has the body positivity movement gone too far? Based on science, if you're overweight, you're at risk for diseases. I disagree with you. So you would reject the science. People of a higher weight are more likely to survive heart attacks. So many doctors are middle-aged white men and my body is different. Thank you for calling me middle-aged. <laughs> I've struggled with my weight and my body image my entire life. Kids bullied me for my weight, but I always shrugged it off thinking, oh, well, they're just like mean kids. When I was 10, my friend's mom told me, Lexi, with those blue eyes and that beautiful singing voice, if you just lost the weight, you could take over the world. So it was particularly soul crushing to learn that adults were thinking negatively about my body also. Yeah. My journey to accepting myself was gradual. I've really made peace with my body. I started creating content for Instagram about four years ago yes. to document my own self-acceptance and body confidence journey. One of the most common troll comments I receive is that I am promoting obesity. So many people seem to feel entitled to a fat person's personal business and are quick to judge them. When people are berating me online and telling me I'm gonna die by the time I'm 30, it is not inspiring. Happy food! Happy food. Will and I are soulmates. He is the love of my life. I think body positivity is good, but people online have made rude comments to Lexi just because she's fat. It's painful to watch. I respect her tenacity, her fight, and her vigor through it all. I hope that people can just see me loving myself the way that I am and feel inspired to love themselves the same way. What's your definition of body positivity? My definition of body positivity is pretty simple. It's self-acceptance, radical self-acceptance, regardless mm -hmm. of whether you're as healthy as you'd like to be or whether you love how you look or maybe sometimes you don't. It's the belief that no matter how you feel in that moment, you know that you are deserving of good things and respect and dignity. Okay, how many of you just by a show of hands would support what she's just saying with, with her definition? Okay, how many of you would say, mm, I got a problem with that? Okay, a couple of wafflers. Okay, <laughs> I'm raising my hand because I got a problem with that. All right. Do you define it pretty much the same way? I would say so, yeah. Okay, then I got a problem with both of you two. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in we trouble. We can work it out, yeah, I think. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's my problem. See, I think we, in, in this society, I think we have always confused body image with self-image. I think they vary together and should not. We have a good body image, our self-image goes up. We have a poor body image, then our self-image tends to go down. That shouldn't be the way it is. Would you agree? I agree that how you view your body shouldn't be the only thing that makes you feel good about yourself. That's what I think body positivity helps with if you start to change how you see yourself, if you start to approach your body image with a sense of compassion and tenderness, then you start to see yourself in a more gentle light rather than like a harsh criticism. And so when you are feeling negatively about your body, instead of it making you feel negatively about yourself altogether, you can say, I feel negatively about my body today, but I'm gonna show myself kindness and compassion and I'm just gonna say, you're doing your best and tomorrow's a new day. And then that way you kind of lift up your entire self image. So you're, you're contradicting yourself then. You're saying, I, I don't like my body image, I'm just accepting it and I'll do better tomorrow. And I, I don't, see to me, th this body positivity says we're, we're not gonna focus on body image, we're gonna focus on the person inside but it seems to be totally focusing on body image. What about the health issues? What, I think most of the critics about this focus on the fact that by seeming to celebrate the body, not your worth, not your value, but to celebrate the body, you're ignoring the health risks. The whole point of fat acceptance, body positivity, body neutrality even, is destigmatizing the fat phobic, toxic diet culture, beauty standards, 
all of these expectations that are put onto people to look a certain way or to avoid looking a certain way. It's taking, it's destigmatizing um, having a specific body image, destigmatizing fatness, and it is putting, it's putting an individual's personal experience and their personal journey to the forefront. At 20 years old, I was at my heaviest weight of 360 pounds. I was really afraid that I was going to, you know, die really, really soon. I decided that I wanted to change my life. I have lost about 180 pounds overall, and I've been able to keep that weight off for about 10 years. Now. I actually started to document my journey on Instagram, as well as YouTube. I want to make it very clear. It was rough. It was rough. I also don't believe that losing weight is obviously a bad thing and that you should be shunned for it or made fun of, or in my case, I'm called fat phobic because I've lost weight. I've been called an ex fat because I've lost weight. I have had a lot of people be very angry at me because I advocate for others that want to lose weight. Ideal beauty standard, like, no. I am here to say, if you do want to lose weight, I believe in you. I believe you can do it. It is very hard, but it's worthwhile, and me losing the weight has been one of the best things I've ever done in my entire life. Well, John, welcome. Yeah, you worked really me. hard to lose weight, right? Yeah, yeah, it was one of the hardest things I've ever done, yeah. How much did you lose total? Uh, 180 pounds. That's a whole other person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? And uh, so do you consider yourself healthier? Yeah, I, I mean, I would consider myself healthier, yeah. There are people that have done what you've done, lost weight. There are celebrities that have done it, Adele, Rebel Wilson, uh, Jonah Hill, that get criticized for losing weight. Mm -hmm. And you've had people say, traitor, you know, yeah. that, that you've, you've quit yeah. on them, right? With, with weight loss, I think a lot of people see it as, like they were talking about, some sort of moral success, right? Which, and I can understand how you guys feel, being, um, just feeling like, because you're fat, you have people that are attacking you regardless of what you believe, regardless, I get it. I was there, I know what it's like. And so I think you guys are doing a great job, by the way. Um, but I have dealt with that. I have dealt with people um, upset with me, upset with my name on Instagram, obese to beast. And, and it's, it's frustrating because at the end of the day, what I care about and what I preach is I want people to be happy and I want people to be healthy. And if so, if someone wants to lose weight, if someone wants to go down that path, I think they should be um, want, hopefully do it in a healthy way, but they should have ways to do that and not be made to feel bad about wanting to do that. Because for me, it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. Yeah. It completely changed my life. And I want people to have that option and feel supported when they are going down that road. Data is really what matters. And I run lab tests on my clients. So everybody does blood tests, I do stool testing. And Fat is an organ, and it, it influences inflammation, it influences your hormones, and it puts stress on your organs. And eventually, those organs begin to fail. And I've seen that over and over on lab testing, and so it's something that we have data to prove. Also, being obese is um, putting you at risk for all-cause mortality, which is cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and just organ failures, like even the gallbladder is included in that, too. Not to mention orthopedic problems, which are huge. What right. are some of your favorite studies that you've read that um, aim to research people who are, as you say, obese, so people who are overweight, um, who don't have organ failure, who don't have orthopedic issues? What are some of your favorite studies um, and research that you've read exploring healthy fat people? Well, nothing in medicine is 100%. Sure. So you're going to look at data and you're going to look at percentages. And when you look at people who are 40, 50, more pounds overweight, the statistics tends to indicate, and this is very well documented, that they run more problems. It doesn't mean that everybody who's overweight is gonna have these problems, but the risk is much greater than a person who is at ideal BMI. Well, body fat BMI. is inflammatory. So what, regardless of how much you have, it is increasing inflammation, and inflammation is the root cause of all disease, regardless of, it, of what it is. And so it's important to look at the data in regards to that and really look at, okay, are you insulin resistant? Because insulin resistance can lead to dementia. They're calling dementia type three diabetes. And if you're insulin resistant now, then you're setting yourself up for things like dementia in the future too. You wanted to say something? My comment is uh, to the young lady. I wish when I was as young as her, I had paid attention to the dangers. I'm the poster child of 
everything that can go bad because of weight. I'm going to have open heart surgery on October 10th. I had a heart attack. I have diabetes, blood, high blood pressure, no cartilage on both legs. I need two knee replacements. And health is important. And overweight is linked to more health issues. There's no question about it. You want to say? Yeah, so it's clear that all the numbers that all these studies people are bringing up, more people are becoming overweight, obese. That's clearly happening. I don't think anyone would disagree with that, right? I think it's important to look at, is that really an issue? And if that is an issue, what can we do to solve it? Not what can the fat people do to stop being fat, right? It's more about what can we do as a nation, as a community? What can we do to help people? <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional because I dealt with people constantly telling me I was fat. Guess who doesn't need to be told they're fat? <laughs> a fat person, I'm telling you right now, I knew, I knew, right? And so it was so frustrating to me to have people make fun of you, call you names, say, oh, you're gonna die soon, yada, yada, yada. I, I knew, right? I knew what was going on. That didn't change the fact that I felt like I couldn't lose the weight. I, I felt like it was impossible for me. And so what I try and do as just a dude is I try and show people I was able to lose the weight, and if you want to, you can. Your life is yours to live, and you're gonna make the choices. I, I'm just saying, deal with reality. You know, deal with reality. If, if I, I'm a big one for science. If anything that I've said today, if it won't withstand challenge, throw it out. Fact check everything I've said. And if I'm wrong and obesity doesn't put you at higher risk for diseases, throw it out. Don't, don't listen to me. Fact check me. Do these things for yourself, but deal with reality. And I want to be sure you understand that I don't conflate issues. And self-image and body image, I don't put those together. One is at risk for your health, and I care about people and want them to live as long and healthy as they can. You as, a, as people, as individuals, I've enjoyed having you here. You've been great for this conversation and debate. You've been very nice, very pleasant. And if we talk about this some more, I, I hope you'll come back and contribute to the conversation Absolutely. again. Absolutely. Thank you for and having I, us. I hope you're glad you came. I, I've, tried to treat you with dignity and respect because I do respect both of you and, and I hope you'll come you back. we respect you so much, thank you. Workplace bullying can affect you physically. I threw my back out, I started losing my hair. Now I start thinking I'm worthless. If you wake up every day and let somebody else tell you what your worth is, then you've given them your power. New Dr. Phil. Check your local listings. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.